Dang, nothing's happening. She won't start. Well, that's probably a good thing considering that this boat has no batteries and no fuel in it. Actually, we're here today to talk to Chris about the biggest outboard maintenance issue that boaters have. Chris, what is it? Well, the biggest issue would be the fuel system and primarily the ethanol. One of the best things you can do to combat that problem is use a good high quality 10 micron fuel water separator filter. Now, what about fuel additives? Well, it is recommended to always run a good high quality uh, fuel stabilizer uh, every time you put gas in a boat. And if you have a carbureted engine, do you have to do anything different? Yeah, the best thing to do if you have a smaller carbureted engine uh, if you're not using it every other day or every three days, you definitely need to uh, drain the fuel system down on that. That way it'll be ready for you next time you need to use it. Uh, let's, let's see how you do that. Okay, when we're laying these motors up for temporary storage of, of a week or two weeks, the first thing you want to do is just start the engine, let it run, and disconnect the fuel source, and you want to let it sit there and just idle until it runs itself out of fuel. Okay, after you let the uh, engine shut off and die, you basically just put a rag underneath the carburetor, crack the carburetor drain screw bowl loose, fuel will start to dribble out of it. Uh, most of these are cross-drilled, so there's no need to take it completely out, and you just sit and wait for it to finish draining and snug it down, and then after that, you're ready to go the next time, and you can possibly let it sit as, as much as three or four months this way without any issues. So Chris, what's another common problem that you see all the time around here? Well, customers not flushing their motors. Why don't you come over here and take a look at this? Okay, when you come over here, uh, you get a lot of salt buildup. Your anodes start to go away. Uh, everything starts scaling, and this is basically what you end up with. Well, it looks like it's a good idea to flush your motor. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for the tips, Chris. You're very welcome.